Hello everyone and welcome. This is an English lesson for the first grade high school students. Today we are going to revise what we have learned about different living environments. In today's lesson, you will assess your ecological awareness, you will read about different survival methods in the wilderness, and last but not least, you will write a manifesto for a zero waste life. For this lesson, you will need your notebook, something to write with, and a smartphone or a laptop with internet connection. In order to do some exercises, you will have to pause the video. When you see the pause button on the screen, it will be your signal to pause the recording in order to do some exercises. Let's start this lesson with a warm-up activity. Do you recognize this country? You're right, it's Norway. What do you know about Norway? Note down five things that first come to your mind when we mention Norway. Think of its landscapes, famous Norwegians, towns, sport, whatever first comes to your mind. Are you ready to compare notes? Okay, this is my list. Norway is famous for its explorers, Vikings being the first ones, and there is also Roald Damutsen. The capital of Norway is Oslo, and fjords are the first thing that I think of when talking about Norwegian landscapes. And, of course, Joe Nesbo. He is one of the most famous writers of today. I'm sure we overlap in at least some of the notes. And now the quiz about maps. Or, to be more precise, we will revise the vocabulary connected with maps on the example of a Norwegian map. Once you scan the code or copy the link bit.ly slash Norway 2020, you will access the quiz. We are still in Norway. Here are some of the adjectives you might use when describing your local area. High, flat, Crowded, deep, rapid, fertile, major, dense, steep, heavy, maximum, humid, satisfactory, magnificent, harsh, and minimum. You will fill in the gaps with these adjectives in the text about Norway. The link for the quiz is bit.ly bw area, or you can just scan the code. So, the winters in the north of Norway can be harsh with heavy snow. The maximum temperature is 20 degrees. As for the landscape, it is magnificent with steep cliffs overlooking deep sea. There are rapid rivers, high mountains and dense coniferous forests. They do have some major problems with pollution and they are trying to come up with satisfactory solutions. Moving forward, I am sure you have watched TV shows on how to survive in the wilderness. What should you do if you want to survive? Make notes in your notebook, you may pause the video now. Now compare your list with the advice you will find in the text. Scan the code or copy the link and check. Copy any advice that you might have missed. You will use it in the second part of the activity. This is a table with different activities. Your task is to classify the advice from your notebook according to the activities in each column. If you are not sure, 
you can check with the text. Do you have the same advice as titles for the columns? I'm sure you do. Now you must have noticed there are parts in the table not finished yet. You'll have to scan the text in order to get the information how to build a shelter or get food in extreme conditions like deserts or really cold areas. So, the solution is to adjust to the landscape and climate you're in. If you end up in a desert, you should dig a hole to protect yourself from the predators and weather conditions, and you should eat cactus plants and lizards. And when in cold areas, you should use snow to build shelters, and you should catch fish. I think we are all aware of the importance of preserving our living environment, but are we doing enough? This quiz will show you how environmentally friendly you are and what areas you should work on. Be honest answering the questions, as you will not have to share your answers with anyone. You can scan the code or copy the link How Green Are You 2020. The quiz you have just done showed you that we are all responsible for our living environment. Some people take this issue really seriously. Have you heard of the term zero waste? You are going to watch a video, Why I Live a Zero Waste Life, where you will find the answer to this question. While watching the video, you will answer some multiple choice questions. Pause the video and do the exercise after you copy the link at zero or scan the code. Let's see how much you remember from the video and the quiz. Copy these sentences into your notebook, filling in the gaps with the appropriate model verbs. What would you say to someone who wants to live a zero-waste life? Let's check the answers. What does living a zero-waste life mean? It means you mustn't make any trash, you shouldn't buy packaged food, you should buy your fruit and vegetables from the farmer's market, you don't have to buy new clothes, you can shop secondhand, and you should downsize as well. Also, you should use a stainless steel or glass water bottle instead of plastic one. And in the end, you must be really careful when it comes to, cle to the cleaning products. They can be dangerous to your health. Did you find the video inspirational? Do you think you could live like that? What are the things you would have to do? According to Lauren, there are four steps you have to go through. You would have to think how to reduce or stop using plastic, how to downsize, or to put it simple, live with less things. What about shopping secondhand? Could you do that? Does making your own shampoo or toothpaste sound difficult? All this sounds challenging, but Laura says the benefits are great. You're healthier, you save money, and you share our living environment. It's your turn now. You will create a zero waste manifesto in which you will go through all four steps Laura mentioned. Think how you can reduce the use of plastic. Also, Find the recipe for an organic toothpaste, shampoo, or something else that has a plastic container. As for clothes, maybe secondhand shopping isn't your thing, but can you think of something similar? Also, think about the things you could live without. What is it that you have but actually don't need? You don't have to be dressed 
This is just the beginning, baby steps. You will notice there is one more step added and that is promoting zero waste. How would you do it? How would you make people aware of the problems we have with the waste? You can design a manifesto using Canva or with a simple Word document. Share your manifesto with your teacher in your virtual classroom. And your last activity. Which three things have you learned today? What are the two things you would like to learn more about? And what is the one question you still have? This is all for today. Thank you for taking part in the lesson. Goodbye.